Hi, I'm Alan Sagano. I'm the president of ADS Consulting Group, and today we're going to be talking about collection. Um, collection that, uh, and specifically in the column that was done, uh, uh, distributed by the Department of Homeland Security regarding their advanced persistent threat that was coming from, from Iran. So let's do a deeper dive into the collection uh, column in the Excel spreadsheet. Hi, I'm Alan Sagano. I'm the president of ADS Consulting Group, and today we're reviewing the Department of Homeland Security Advanced Persistent Threat Spreadsheet that uh, is coming out of Iran, and we're we'll doing a deeper dive into the collection column. So, as you can tell here, there's only one attack, and it turns out to be the APT-34 oil rig that had any collection uh, attacks on them. So, let's take a look at that. So uh, for the collection, they had uh, an automated collection. It doesn't say what they use, probably some hacking tool, I'm sure. They also had uh, key logging tools such as key punch and long watch for keystroke loggers to see what they were doing and hopefully capture some things like username and password, as well as a screen capture tool called Candy King. So uh, probably the best uh, countermeasure against these types of collection uh, utilities is again an application whitelist right if the application isn't on that whitelist like candy king wouldn't be on there or key punch or long watch or some of the other collection tools are just not going to run plus it would should throw up an alert and then you can figure out what the heck who's running these and it should then trigger you know shields up we got a big problem going on here so um, whitelisting, application whitelisting is probably one of the most effective ways to protect against that type of attack. Uh, hopefully you picked up on something. Uh, thanks a lot for listening. If you like this content, please boink, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.